and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir aggro. We're playing Demacia Noxus, um, part of our aggro Sunday. Today we're off to a good start with a couple of 4-1s and some awesome games. If you're watching this, if you didn't watch the Swain Burn, you should check out that, especially the last game of that Swain Burn. That game was crazy. We just played um, but anyway, we're, we're playing uh, these together. So we have Lucian and Senna, how they can both have double attack. And we're going to be able to give them Overwhelm. We got our Might, uh, one Might in here, and then a couple of Cat of the Arms. Help give them Overwhelm. We also have Vladimir. Um, so basically, we, we're kind of a combo deck here. Uh, Legion Veteran, I'll kind of describe our combo. So whenever our allies survive damage, we get plus one, plus zero. So any of our, you know, so we can start pumping up our allies with that. We have Vladimir that can do one damage to all of our stuff and, you know, hopefully not kill it so it survives. So it pumps up plus one, plus zero. But if that one damage would kill it or if we need it, we have three Rangers Resolves giving our allies tough this round. So we can basically do it, use the Rangers Resolve, give them all tough this round, and then that Vladimir um, trigger doesn't actually do damage to our allies, but it still does damage to the enemy Nexus. Um, so that's just a, a cool combo. And then we have a couple of chain vests in here and, you know, card like Crimson Disciple, giving it tough with resolve, giving it tough with chain vest. It can start doing a lot of, uh, damage each one of these triggers. We got death Lotus, two death Lotus in here. Also, um, again, you know, like we could have, if we have that whole thing set up, we Rangers resolve our allies, death Lotus to do one damage to all of our allies. Some more, um, pump them up even more with the veteran, uh, also uh, do damage to our opponent's units. Um, so there we go. Uh, it should be a pretty fun one to play. We're going to go play five games over in ranked like we always do. Uh, somebody asked, deck code for the Swain deck. I will get you that right here. There you go, Polar. <clears throat> All right, Mulligan those. Leeson, Katarina. Do we have one drops? We have we have the one one drop, the Scythria. That's the only one. Okay, just Scythria. I can't do that. How about now? All right, now we can. We each hold a world within. Wow, they're actually blocking? Huh. Huh. Well. Wait, that was not a good decision by them. Okay, well, our, our deck's great. Lucian is so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting strategy. I don't know if they thought, like, the quick attack was going to give them, like, they either, t one of two things happened. They either forgot that Lucian had quick attack, one, and so thought that they were going to trade, or two, they thought the quick attack would work on, like, blocking and give it, like, quick block, and then they would still trade. So they thought one of those things was going to happen just in their head, and then as soon as they played it, they realized, oh, wait, that doesn't work. And then just shame conceded afterwards. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be keeping Crimson Disciple, to be honest. Oh, well, I guess we keep Vladimir. Because I kind of want a spell. We got 11 spells in the deck. Kind of want some kind of protection or something for these maybe I don't all right so we're going to not play Lucian immediately you know Vi Ezreal this is definitely you know like a mystic shot deck uh, easier to kill Lucian make them make them kill Crimson Disciple not and ready. yeah I would like I want the tough cards I'd like a chain vest Leaping into action. Eh. I don't know, I could kill that thing. Sure, we'll kill it. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I... That's that's kind of something you have to learn, right? That quick attack doesn't work on defending turns. It, it That's not... That's not necessarily... Um, it's not necessarily, like, really obvious that quick attack does not work when blocking. That's definitely something that I wasn't, you know, wasn't sure exactly how that would happen. And I know it is only just attacking, but... I wouldn't say that... I wouldn't say that anybody's uh, dumb for thinking that... That uh, quick attack would work on defense. My opponent is in Master's rank, and you have you do have to play a, just a ton of games to get to Master's rank. So you would think that by now they would know that quick attack wouldn't work on defense. But yeah, that's definitely something that you know. Whenever I first started playing the game, I I I think I made that mistake too. Pretty sure I made that mistake. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Here's the fun part. Eat this. We have a bunch of good things we could play. But I also kind of just want to go to, to combat because we have a really good attack. Just gonna go to combat with our good attack. They should make Bubble Bear 1-6 quick, quick block. I'm Definitely need to help out Bubble Bear more. Gosh, these Vi's. Annoying. I don't know, I kind of want to cast Might and you must be supper. to kill Vi, but I think I'll wait. There's a chill in the air. That would be great to be able to do that next turn. And have those all have tough next turn. But that's still worth keeping Lucian alive. Oh, maybe it's not even worth keeping Lucian alive, because Lucian's just going to die to Vladimir. Maybe that wasn't worth it. 
Problems off. Come on. I guess I guess I should have just I should have just played might on the cat of the arm and killed this Vi. will kill them. They don't have another removal spell. GG's. <clears throat> Alright, Vladimir Agro, 2 and 0. Oh. Even fighting through a couple harsh winds. Eyes. Still got there. All right. Uh, we're going to mulligan Vladimir and keep the rest. Why would I even mulligan Vladimir? I just don't even need to. Again, I kind of just want some tricks to play. Not really that one. <laughs> I, meant, I meant, like, the tough cards. But, you know, we're going to go War Chefs on two. Uh, Crimson Curator on three, and then we'll have, oh gosh, maybe we just go Legion Veteran on four, but we'll see. We could have Demolitionist on two to hit the Curator. Um, yeah, I mean, this is good for me if they block. It does turn one of their things into being a 3-3, three, three, but I killed the other one, so that's good. Take out something that's a potential 3-3. Three, three. Oh, I shouldn't block. Because huh. if I blocked there, then these both would have turned into 3-3s. Three I shouldn't have done that, but... Worked out. Um... Young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Man, 4-5s are pretty big. Yeah, yep, yep. Three Rangers resolves in the deck because of how it works w well, really well with Vladimir. Pretty good trade for them, honestly. Let me show you what I can do. Hmm. Just play all the two drops or play Vladimir. Attacking that well with all the two drops. Uh, 
I like they're using Glimpse Beyonds on three threes. You know, not using Glimpse Beyonds on like little one ones. That's that's that good. Did it move? It's gonna be really difficult to beat this Neverglade Collector. Filthy creatures. This is gonna be a tough game to win. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy. Wow. Triple Ravenous Butcher. Is the problem. My sweet little plaything. Your path ends here. Face the glory. Such a pretty thing. Is the big Time's problem. Wiser, wow. Wow. Ashes in the dust. That was an incredible turn. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have just blocked it with Warchefs. You're right. I should have. Yeah, because the Warchefs would have stayed alive. Yes, I should have just blocked it with Warchefs. That was bad on me. Yeah, still on pace for the 4-1 goal. Uh, well, we got to win two in a row. I mean, I guess we're not on pace, but got to win a couple in a row here now. It's still alive. 4-1 4-1 Dream still alive. How many transfusions are we playing? Because it's not enough. Three? That's not enough. We need more. <laughs> We've just never drawn that card. It's not enough. The chains, they never stop. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's true. Our Vladimir champion spell can be some more for us. Chill in the air. Charge. Another Cythria. Oh, fresh soil. So I'm playing this to incentivize them to challenge this Cythria instead of um, instead of a challenging the two one Cythria. Which I don't know. Maybe that was just dumb. Maybe I should just play this. 
I sh should probably block anyway, shouldn't I? I, won't back down. I guess I should. Because if I if I play Crimson Disciple, they just don't attack with their two one. They challenge this two one. This two one dies, um, and then you know like they just still have their two one. And mine's dead. So now we at least trade those two ones. And peace. And I'm gonna attack and just get the five damage in. Um, you know, not let them like this opponent's deck is definitely playing. Eh, I have a missing shot. Well, we don't get much damage in. I guess I could have played Senna first, but um, they're definitely playing like the the three mana <clears throat> make two O ones card, and so I didn't want to get too greedy. I just wanted to try to get five damage and then go with with this stuff instead of them having like those O ones be blockers. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. For the Empire. Is that all? Yeah, maybe I should have just played Senna. With Lucian in play. Mr. Chance to run. Clear it out! Should still be fine. Yeah, we had we had eight direct damage in hand with the other stuff. All right, three and one. Do we pick up the win and get another four one in the books? Four ones are tough also. I mean, that's winning 80%. That's not easy. But at worst, we'll have a 3-2. But... All right, going deep. Perfect. Well, not perfect. We don't have the one drop. All right, here's Cythria. We left it right on top of the deck. Cythria. Close. Let me show you what I can do. We're very disciplined. Hmm. Nah, I guess that's disciples a different word than discipline. Never mind. We're pretty big followers of the Crimson movement. There we go, that works. Look what you did. Vladimir could be amazing, or um, or even like Death Lotus, doing one damage to everything. I'll play this to be able to have transfusion available still. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Go and harvest it. I'll let this happen. Playing a transfusion would, I don't know, put both my things down to one health. Kind of messy. I'll just let that happen. Fought for glory. I fought for legacy. <laughs> the rock must be cut away. War teaches us all. Curator. Protect old 
Uh, I don't like life steal. Go up to seventeen. So, you know, if I play something pre-combat, they get to play something. The worst thing possible would be Devourer of the Depths. Um, so it's probably just attack. Honestly. Get this over with. Probably just attack. Why would you not block the 4-2? They both attack for 4. Wouldn't it be better to block the 4-2 than the 4-5? Unless they're going to use, like, Grasp the Undying on the 4-2. Then that would make sense. There would definitely be times where the yeah the four mana five five who do, does one to all allies. There definitely be times where that card would look really good. Um, we we'll just have the the legion veterans instead. Cause there's there'd be other times like where they would Stop just kill happy. kill your stuff. Um, I don't know. Is it? I feel like if I go for Demolitionist that they'll have a removal spell for the Crimson Disciple. Is that weird? Or, like, they haven't played any Grass the Undying, or if they had Grass the Undying, would they have just played it during combat? I don't know. I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like they have Grass the Undying. But I don't know... what to do about that. I need both Demolitionists to resolve to kill them. Like, the first one just does four damage. <clears throat> Kato's always the correct movies in your hand, even if you can you can double spell instead. We want to just draw spells, we don't want to draw any more units. Basically just all of our spells. Transfusion being the best, Death Lotus being the second best, probably. So I'm to make another Crimson Disciple. Okay, Transfusion. <laughs> I 
Hey Bummer. And Matt House. Uh, passing turn. I just pass back, go to, go to combat. Doesn't seem bad to go to combat. I will attack. Thank you. Strike at their foundations. It's nothing personal. The bloodier, the better. All right, take 10. No, no, no. Still take 10. <clears throat> Come on, just take 10. Don't play spells. We're forcing them to basically use all their mana, where then I still have some other stuff to be doing. Uh, that, it's not. Because now, now this thing dies to the Withering Whale. And so then the grass the undying doesn't do anything anymore. They needed to do this. They should have done it the other way around. They should play the, the withering will first and then grass have grass resolve first. <clears throat> Alright, GG. What nerfs are you expecting at ne next patch? Honestly, none. There's not any nerfs that I am expecting. Um yeah, there's there's honestly not any. I I'll be kind of surprised by anything they do. I know a lot of people say that they're definitely changing like pilfer goods, but I don't know. I, I could see them not changing pilfer goods. Also, it's not. It's a little annoying to play. Like for some people, they find it like annoying to play against, but it's not like it's dominating or anything. Um. So I don't. I. Yeah, so I don't, I mean, I, I could see something changing. Like, I wouldn't be necessarily surprised by something changing from the Yoink package, but I'm not expecting anything to change, if that makes sense. Like, the word expecting, there's, I know, I know they said that they're they're changing and updating 20 plus cards. I could see that being, like, a lot of, um, I could see that being a lot of buffs to, like, cards that people don't play. You know, like, maybe, maybe some of, like, uh, some of these cards that people don't play could get changed kind of thing but yeah I, w I wouldn't be surprised if if something happens with the yoink package and i wouldn't be surprised if something happens with unyielding spirit but i wouldn't really say that i'm expecting either one because i don't think they're really dominating um so uh i don't know i would i would be shocked if neverglade collector gets um nerfed i don't even think that card's that good um yeah i that's that's what i'm thinking vinius i'm thinking we're getting like 10 10 plus but I, I think that out of like the 20 plus i think that uh probably two-thirds of those are probably going to be buffs that'd be my guess <laughs> all right but anyway um and if i had to choose one thing to buff i don't know uh, well, I've talked about Anivia. Anivia, this card could honestly cost 5 mana. It sounds crazy, but this card could honestly cost 5 mana and be a 2-4 like this and be the exact same card and it wouldn't really see play. And it could cost 5 mana. Like, this thing costing 7 and being a 2-4 is just pretty silly. They, they, could make, they could make some of these some of these Freljord champions better. Anivia, Trindamir, Braum are three of the worst champions. They're all in Freljord. Um, Freljord's basically seeing play because of Omenhawk and Sejuani, those two amazing cards. But anyway, I would like War Mother. War Mother's Call should be burst speed. That's that's my thinking. If you're if you're spending twelve mana, just 
have this be burst speed. That would be pretty sweet. It's 12 mana. Like, come on. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Vladimir Aggro was pretty sweet. Uh, lots of good synergy here. Lots and lots of really good synergy in this deck. Um, and I like how low cost this card, this deck is. You know, 25 cards that cost one or two mana. Like that quite a bit. Really low to the ground. Lots of two mana stuff. Lots of good synergy. Pretty cool deck. Um, yeah, 13 mana burst is better than 12 mana slow. Yes. Um, but I think it should just be... Just make it 12 mana burst. It's That's not too good. That's not too good at all. Um, but anyway, yep. That's Vladimir Aggro. Another 4-1. We got... I guess it's just 4-1 Aggro Sunday. That's what we got here. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. And feel free in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, what would you like to see happen in patch 1-4 that's going to be happening next week. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Vladimir Aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.